AI driven power solution. Anand sir, you have 10 minutes to present your use case. Over to you, Anand sir. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. So good evening, everybody. The topic is the AI in company audit. So when we say company audit, as an auditor, we should ensure that the financial statements are free from or financial statements should be true and fair. So to say something is true and fair, that should be free from material misstatements. So when we say financial statements, it have many elements. One of the element is property plan and equipment and in property plan and equipment, depreciation is one of the hot area. So can you see my screen? Or not yet, I think just I'll share my screen. So is my screen visible? Yes. Sir. So depreciation is one of the hot area in property planet equipment validation. So how how this is addressed? So as we say, material misstatements. Mm -hmm. So in case of depreciation, following are the possible misstatements that can occur while we revalidate or recalculate the depreciation. That can be misstatement can be due to incorrect useful life. It can be due to incorrect residual value estimate. It can be due to asset uh, incorrect classification or categorization. Like there are multiple aspects. Now let us take one aspect as an example. Say incorrect useful life. How do we address the incorrect useful life of depreciation while auditing the financial statements of uh, a company in case of depreciation? So accordingly, we are going to cover in this session, in this topic is how to calculate the depreciation as per Schedule 2 of Companies Act, how to calculate depreciation as per Income Tax Act and Defer Tax Act using artificial intelligence. Say in our case, it is Python. So how are we going to run a Python code using artificial intelligence so that we can automatically calculate the depreciation using AI as per both the acts, say company sector and income tax sector. Now, how we are going to address this issue is through AI and how we can communicate with AI, AI is important. So before that, anything, there must be a prerequisite how a system should be to run a python code usually there should be a python application you can download it from the website that you can be visible here and there are multiple pre requirements that that require to run a code so it 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 will hardly take around five less than five minutes to install all the prerequisites uh, to proceed further now as i said earlier communication of our requirement with the artificial intelligence is most important let us take an example let us use any kind of AI. It may be chat GPT, Claude, Gemini, Copilot, it may be anything. Let us use some chat GPT as an AI and specify the requirement. How do we specify to or communicate our requirement to AI is through a prompt. So by giving necessary prompt to the AI, we can get the desired output. So in my case, my requirement is to identify the misstatement in case of incorrect useful life of an asset. If something is if something incorrect useful life is given, my Python code should detect it. So accordingly, first I need to communicate with AI. So in my case, so this is my prompt, what I am providing to the AI. So my, if you can see my screen, this is the detailed prompt that I am giving. So, so when we, when we are there for audit, usually we will be receiving an asset register. Say in my case, the company has given me the asset register containing the following details. It may have the other fields too. So I need to clearly communicate. I need to clearly communicate to the AI that following are the columns that my asset register is having. And based on the asset register, I need to calculate the, the depreciation value of both as per income tax and company set, thereby calculating the defer tax by a Python code. This is my clear requirement. So this, this requirement, I will be communicating to the AI. So if you see here, so the same prompt, what you have seen earlier in the slide, I have copied it and I have asked it to just memorize until I update some, some other thing. So apart from my requirement, I also should feed the AI that what are the depreciation rates as per the company sector and as per the income tax sector. So as usual, we can attach the relevant documents, whatever uh, last we two need to what we need to communicate. So accordingly, 
we have communicated it. So once this is communicated, I will ask to generate a Python code. If I just click a generate Python code, so the AI will automatically will run a code. After finishing the code, I will just copy the code. Once the code is copied, I will choose my folder where I need to save it. After saving it, I'll just open a text pad. I'll just open the text pad. I'll go to AI. I'll just copy the code given and I will just paste it. Once it is pasted, I'll save it. I'll go to the folder. After pasting, I will turn the extension from TXT to PY so that system will understand that this is a Python document. Once a Python document is created, I will rename it to whatever the content it is having, say depreciation calculation is the code it is having. So once the code is ready, I will just click enter on the code. If I just click enter on the code, automatically my system has created a new file, which is not there earlier. Final output is the file it is generated. And if I just open the code, this is the earlier register. Now the code, whatever generated has given me this much detail. So up to here, I'm having in a set register, depreciation calculation is given, income tax calculation is given, difference and different tax. In this way, a system generated information is there and I have information with the client. I will compare both the information and if I found any discrepancies, so I will highlight it and accordingly I will form a conclusion whether this is a, a true and fair or not. So accordingly, and whatever the activity I have done, for that after initially it is done, I need not require any internet connection. I need not edit the code again and again. And, and for any number of companies, I can use the same code to generate the desired output. So in this way, using AI, we can address the pain points because technology is there to reduce the pain points. So in my case, while auditing depreciation, so I can reduce my pain using the Python code using AI. So this is my presentation. So thank you. thank you so much for the opportunity and thank thanks Prem Nath sir and Vijay sir for inspiring me to get into this empanelment. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, CA Anand Lakshmi sir for presenting the use case in depreciation AI driven uh, Python solution. So you have uh, demonstrated the how to use the Python code and you also mentioned that uh, to avoid the common mistake in calculation of depreciation and explain the key aspect like schedule two income tax and time difference. So thank you very much, sir, for giving the wonderful insight.